to get started making our beanie, we will need a darning needle, scissors, and either a four or five weight yarn. I'm using the Karen Macchiato Cakes. This is a five weight yarn, and this is probably the thickest yarn that I would trust using in the Centro machine, just to avoid anything getting caught. For these larger cakes, you can usually get two beanies out of each. I also love making these just to use up scrap yarn or to use up skeins that I'm not really sure what to do with. So to get started, you'll want to make sure that your machine is on the tube setting. And then you will go to the white peg to get started. So once you have your machine with the white peg in line with this opening, we're going to start. So I'm going to take my yarn and I'm going to leave a pretty long tail. I'm going to hook it under the white hook like this, crank a little bit and keep holding it. And then I'm going to go behind the next one and then under the next one crank a little bit and once this white peg goes down you can let go of the tail. So I am going to be weaving in and out of these pegs winding the machine very slowly. So you are putting the yarn behind one peg and then under the other, behind and then under, behind and under and just going back and forth. Winding super slowly on this first round. Right, we're coming up on the white peg. So you will make sure that your yarn goes under these two little pieces and then push your yarn into this opening and you will put it in the tension rod. I always use the first hole on the tension rod no matter what size yarn I'm using. I just feel like that gives me the best result. But as you make more with your Centro, you can play around with that and figure out what you like the best. I usually hold on to my tail just pulling it lightly for this first pass. So I am just going to start winding very slowly and you can let go of the tail now. Very slowly going around for this first pass. I don't count the first two rows in my row count just because this is us casting on and I am back to the white peg again, and now we can get started. My row counter on my Centro actually stopped working after using it just a few times, so I am not going to be using this since it's not accurate. I usually just count every time I see the white peg come up, and every 10 rows I just make a mark on a post-it note. There are also some counter apps that you can get and use for your phone or a tablet where you can just tap them every time you finish a row and it'll keep count for you. So we are going to begin counting our rows now. So to make a beanie, I do between 120 and 130 rows. Since I'm using a thicker yarn, I'm going to do 125 rows for this beanie. So from here on out, we are just going to keep cranking and going around until we have 25 rows. If you're using a thinner yarn, I would suggest doing 30. So now we are just going to keep cranking and going around making rows until we have 125 rows. And then I'll meet you back here to show you how to finish your beanie. I'm at 70 rows now. This is how mine is looking so far. Once it gets to a length where it's going to start dragging on the surface you're working on, you can just kind of fold it up gently and kind of fold it over like that. 
to keep it from getting caught on anything or keep it from dragging. So I'm going to keep going and then I'll meet you back here at 125 rows. I'm finishing my 25th row. So I'm slowly going to wind until I am right at the white peg. I'm going to cut off my working yarn, leaving a pretty long tail. I would say about 12 inches at least, just to be safe. I'm going to take my darning needle and thread my working yarn through. You can take it out of the tension and pull it over the white peg like this towards the middle of the machine. And then crank until the white peg starts to go down. And as soon as it is all the way down, you are going to use your darning needle to go underneath that little loop and pick up that stitch. Be very gentle so you don't pull out any other stitches. So once you picked the stitch off of the white peg, turn slightly and then pick up the next stitch. Always make sure that you are not pulling too hard because you don't want to yank a bunch of stitches off at the same time on accident. So now we are just going to go all the way around the machine and slowly take off every stitch. So I'm going to keep going, removing all of my stitches, and then I will meet you back here. I am on my last peg. So I am going to just crank until I can get it and then take it off. So I'm going to keep my darning needle attached to my working yarn. So I am going to make sure that my beanie is right side out. So now we just have a tube. So now we're going to just start gently pulling that yarn to cinch this opening on the side of the tube. Now I am just going to weave this working yarn in around that cinched opening. So just going around. This is going to be the inside of our hat, so don't worry if it's not totally perfect and smooth looking. We just want to make it a little bit more secure. All right, so once you've gone around one or two times, stick that darning needle through the middle, go through your other side, and just Start pulling until it comes out through the other opening. So now you'll take the darning needle off and just set it to the side and grab on that tail from when we cast on. And now you're going to start cinching up this side of the beanie. So just go slowly and make sure it's not curled up too much. All right, so this is how mine looks so far. Now I'm going to do the same thing on this side that we did on the other side. And I am going to go around and weave in this end. All right, so once you make it all the way around, We are going to tie a knot with these two strings. I am going to double knot it. I'm going to cut off just some of the excess string 
just to make them a little bit easier to work with, but not 100% necessary. So I am going to put both of these loose ends into my darning needle and stick it through the middle and push it all the way down and pull it out the other side. I'm going to go around the circle one more time just to make it super secure. Now I'm going to knot it again. Cut the strings to make my tails a little bit shorter. And I'm going to go back later and weave these in. But you are finished. I always fold mine over to do a cuffed beanie. And that is the finished beanie.